Hi, I'm Patrick Devey, and with the assistance of my colleague, Rina Tanasiadis, I will be your instructor for Quantitative Methods, part of the Financial Analysis Certificate. So, why should you care about Quantitative Methods? Quantitative Methods will provide you with the tools, the know-how, and the techniques you're going to need to make sound and informed financial decisions. And in the context of CFA's body of knowledge, Quantitative Methods provides you with crucial, if not critical, prerequisite knowledge that you're going to need to understand topics such as fixed income, equities, and portfolio management. Now I know what you might be thinking. This is a statistics course, and the moment you get started, you're going to be inundated with formulas, graphs, tables, and bizarre-looking terminology. Bizarre if you don't read Greek, that is. Now, it is a stats course. Quantitative methods, you will have these formulas and tables you'll be faced with at some point in time. But I assure you, it will be done in a way which you will understand. How do I do this? Well, I make use of authentic problems that I work through with you, step by step, so that you can understand what's going on. And then, I give you the opportunity to practice these same problems. But without further ado, let's take a look at the curriculum together. In Module 1 and in Module 2, Rena will be taking you through the basic concepts of the time value of money. Now, this is important because it's essentially the basic calculations you're going to need to understand discounted cash flow applications and how that impacts your financial decisions. I then will bring you into the world of statistics, starting with Module 3, Statistical Concepts and Market Returns. We're going to learn all about basic statistical measures, measures of central tendency, variability, and position, among others. Modules 4 and 5 deal with probabilities. Module 4 will be the basic concepts of probabilities, the theory behind conditional, unconditional probabilities, and so forth. And then we're going to look at application together with common probability distributions, and in particular, the standardized normal distribution. Module 6 is about sampling and estimation and how you set up your own studies in order to get accurate data. In Module 7, Hypothesis Testing, you'll be introduced to the basic recipe that you're going to need to make decisions with regards to your data. Essentially, to be able to answer questions such as, is this marketing strategy working? Or is this portfolio underperforming? Now, although this course has been fundamentally all about numbers and interpreting numbers, there are other techniques that exist that do not rely on these quantitative tools for financial forecasting. This is where technical analysis comes in and the whole science behind studying graphs to identify patterns and trends. So are you feeling bearish or bullish about enrolling in this course? Granted, quantitative methods is a different type of animal when compared to other financial analysis topics, but I assure you, it can be tamed. I hope you'll join me for this course, and best of luck in your studies.